we have got to have a handyman around this place. How much longer is Manny going to be on this terrible community service saying this place is just a dump? By the way, her sister has to go off on another one of her little classes. First it's flower arranging, now it's cake decorating. Like who's gonna even gonna be here to eat cake because the place is such a wreck? Oh, all right, well, is there a pen somewhere? Oh, there's a pencil. Ooh, look at this dust. Phew, all the pollen that's been around here lately. No wonder it's such a mess. All right, I've got these people to interview. Let's see, I've got one appointment at 10. Okay, and then that one's coming in at 10.15. And then I've got that third young man coming in at 10.30. All right, so I've got to conduct these interviews very quickly, get them taken care of. I've got to get this place straightened up. Why did Sophia leave her dust rag here? Oh, why does this... Why does everything fall on me? Why am I the responsible one? Why do I have to do everything? This is just so frustrating. I don't want to make this decision. What is that? Where did that come from? Ooh, did I? There's stuff in the bottom of it. Yuck. It looks exactly like what that, those utensils they have down at the diner. I can't believe they would leave that in here for heaven's sake. This is ridiculous. All right, so let me think. How do I interview these people? Hello. How are you? So pleased to have you here at the Two Sisters Inn. Yes. Uh, what experience do you have? How much money do you think you're going to make at this shop? Uh, let me just tell you what you're going to do for me. I don't know. I don't know how to interview people. I have no earthly idea how to interview people. Why did Cat have to go off again? Frustrating. Look at this. This is all messed up. Oh, I bet that leg is. Oh. This is just awful. It's always my responsibility, my job to get everything done. It's just not fair. Oh. Ugly. All right. Just make a list of questions here, and then maybe I'll just sound a little smarter if I do it that way. Welcome. To the two sisters in. But then I'm the only sister here, then I'll have to explain that my other sister is not here. Maybe they'd like to interview with her too, because after all, they have to be working with both of us. And well, see, there's just another mess. She's just left me alone. Oh. Welcome to the inn. Maybe I just won't say the name of it. The Kit Kat Inn is better than the Two Sisters Inn because that actually is the name, but the, the whole thing with the Kit Kats is what got us in trouble in the first place because the poor man was addicted to chocolate and he ate all the Kit Kats and stole the Kit Kats and now he's doing community service. Okay. Welcome to the Kit Kat Inn. I'm so glad you've come to apply for the handyman's job. Yes. Thank you for coming to apply for the handyman's job. Man's job. There. Oh, Sophia, how are you, darling? Fine. Listen, I don't suppose you could help me just a little bit. I know you're busy cleaning, but I am trying to find a uh, replacement for manual. And I'm thinking about how I should interview these people that have responded to our advertisement in the newspaper. How does this sound? Welcome to the Kit Kat Inn. A replacement for her manning? Well, just, you know, the place is a wreck. I, I mean, you're doing your best to keep things dusted, that kind of thing. But, I mean, the rest of the place is a mess. This coat rack is still falling apart. The lamp doesn't work. I think, I don't know if the dig digger works or not. Well, it does dig, but it doesn't dig quite as nicely as it used to before Manuel was here. We'd check on it every day. So, it's but, just a temporary thing, really, until he finishes with his community service for being addicted to chocolate and stealing from us. 
So what do, you, what do you need from me? Well, I just need to know if you can help me think of some questions. Uh, how do you like my apron? Lovely. Thanks. Uh, you know, I know it's a little Christmassy, but heaven knows it'll probably be Christmas before I can get this job filled. So what do you think about this? Welcome. Welcome to the Kit Kat Inn. Thank you for applying for our handyman's job. I think it sounds terrible. How could you ask me to help you fill a position for my baby that I miss so much? How could you do that? I just, I can't, I don't know. I just, I just, honey, I, for heaven's sake, I just need a little help. I mean, I don't want to be the only one responsible for making a decision. You can't ask me to do this. She is so dramatic. Amen, sister. Oh. <laughs> Honest to goodness, this is ridiculous. Morning, Miss Kit. Well, hi, Bob. Mail man, Bob. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm not so good today. Not much mail today. Okay. Thank you. You can just put it up there with the other junk. I mean, put it up there on the desk. Okay. So, what I'm trying to do is find a handyman. I'm trying to think of the polite way to interview because I've never really had to interview because, of course, nobody's here to help me with the responsibility of selecting somebody. And, oh, then nobody's going to be happy with the person I choose. Oh, my it's just gonna goodness. Be awful. It's such a mess in here. I Welcome. You know, well, I'm, you can't I'm not going to call Inspector Bob. What do you have? Yes. Do you have a lot of handyman experience? What's your favorite thing to fix? Hello? What about plumbing? Inspector Bob? Can you plumb? Yes. Hey, buddy, you, you might want to get down here to the Kit Kat Inn. Yes. This place is a no, disaster. No, we don't have a lot of problems with yeah. it. Stopped up. I don't think they're a code on anything. Why don't get one of those irresponsible guests? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll be back. Yeah, I'll be down here. talking there. about toilets. It's a little too personal. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about that in the interview, but of course if the toilet stops up, somebody flushes too many things down, we've had those little children come in, and they flush their little games down the toilet, that could be a mess, and then their mamas get all upset. Oh, man, well, why, why, why did you have to get into that chocolate addiction and steal from us? Let's see. Yes, thank you so much for coming out and agreeing to apply for this job. What kind of financial support do you need? No, that doesn't sound right. What kind of compensation are you expecting? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Uh, Miss Kitt, how you doing? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Inspector Bob. Inspector Bob here. Hey. How you doing? Nice to see you. Inspector Bob. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what is it I can help you with? Haven't you just been delivering the mail? Unfortunately, ma'am. Oh, that's uh, mail mail. It's been called to my attention that you are you are out of code in several areas, ma'am. Out uh, of code? Yes. Uh, uh. Well, look at this. Oh my. Oh, oh my. This is dangerous. Uh, uh, oh. This is. Well, the batteries dangerous. are just dead. That's all. They're those newfangled battery power candles. Well, the batteries are bad in these, and you have to have good good batteries according to code number seven twenty two A. What? Seven twenty two A. Violation. Well, now wait a minute. It's not a 722A violation. Yes, ma'am. What's hold that going to cost me? Hold, hold on just a moment, please. What? What? Oh, be careful. Be careful. I heard something. I don't hear anything. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. That's dangerous. Don't, don't, don't step on that. Oh, no. Oh, for heaven's sake. Uh, oh, my goodness. That is the major violation. That one is 722B. What, what, wait a minute. Is Freak it, in the floor. Well, this is an old place. I mean, the Kit Kat Inn, the Two Sisters Inn, what, uh, the Inn has been around for a long time. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. That is, a, that is a code violation in itself, ma'am. You do not inspect, you do not interrupt Inspector Bob while he's giving an inspection. Well, I didn't mean to. Ma I was just no, 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 no. <sighs> Violation number one, triple A, is do not talk to Bob during the inspection. Everybody knows serious? that. Well, the problem is Inspector Bob. Ma'am, ma'am, no, just a moment. Dirty glass. Well, yes. Dirty 